Hi, in this particular video for microeconomics, we will cover the notion of a cross price elasticity of demand. As you can see in this slide, a cross price elasticity of demand is a metric of the sensitivity of the quantity demanded for a specific product to price factors that impact the demand for this product, but are not the price of this product directly. Rather, it's the price of perhaps a substitute, perhaps a complement, or perhaps an unrelated good. And uh, what's key about these elasticities is that the sign of the calculation is really important. Because in cases where you have complements, such as in this case hamburgers and french fries, as the price of french fries becomes more and more expensive, the quantity demanded for hamburgers, a typical complement, will be thwarted, will be impacted adversely or in an inverse direction to that of the price of french fries. So in this case, as the price of french fries rises, the demand for hamburgers and the quantity demanded for hamburgers goes down, which is why in the case of a complement, you will see a negative price, cross price elasticity of demand. The other cross price elasticity of demand that you are seeing in this particular slide is the price, cross price elasticity of demand to the price of pizza. A pizza in this case is to be assumed or considered a substitute to hamburgers. So as people switch from consuming pizza to consuming burgers, the question then becomes what is the price of pizza that would generate such an impact? What kind of price of pizza would generate a substitution towards hamburgers from pizza? And the answer is a higher price of pizza. So in this case, a higher price of pizza would generate a higher quantity demanded of hamburgers. And so in this case, the cross price elasticity for a substitute would be a net plus. Okay. So I'm gonna put a plus sign next to the cross price elasticity of demand for pizza. I'm gonna put a plus sign next to the price of pizza to indicate that the cross price elasticity should be a number greater than zero, while for the price of a complement should have an inverse impact on the quantity demand of a good. And then the price of an unrelated good would have a zero cross price elasticity of demand. The same is true for cross price elasticities in, sub, in supply. So I'm not gonna do a chart or a video on the cross price elasticities of supply, other than to say that factors that go into producing a good, such as labor, such as materials, perhaps energy, capital, mm -hmm. those kinds of factors that create costs to the producers of goods will be essentially like uh, having complement goods. Uh, and so they'll essentially have a negative impact on the quantity supplied of a good. As the price of labor goes up, as the price of energy goes up, as the price of raw materials goes up that are used in the production of a good, the quantity demanded of the good in question goes down. So those cross price elasticity impacts of factors of production on supply are typically also negative. Thank you for watching this brief video. I hope that it's useful in learning about the concept of elasticity and in completing your upcoming assignments in chapters four, five, and your upcoming exam number two. Take care.